This video is going out there for anyone who is planning a language project for their community. And a community of language users could be defined in many different ways, but if you feel like that description fits you in some way, then this video is for you. We want to show you how a linguist could help support your project. So this video is a general introduction to how to find and work with a linguist or other specialist. But first a disclaimer, because the word linguist can be used to refer to multiple different jobs. Some people hear the word linguist and they picture someone who can sign or speak a lot of languages and learn new languages really easily. Sometimes linguist is used to refer to a certified translator, but when academics use the word linguist, they mean someone who studies the science of language. Academic linguists observe and describe how people use language rather than commenting on whether sentences themselves are correct or incorrect or pleasing language. Many linguists specialize in one particular area of language, for instance, in sound systems or in grammar or in language revitalization or how languages change over time. Um, there are many, many other specializations as well. Uh, all of us creating this video are academic linguists, and so that's the type of linguist that we'll be focusing on today. In the rest of this video, we'll discuss the types of skills, the kinds of skills that linguists can bring to your project, as well as how to get in touch with a linguist. Many communities are interested in documenting or recording language. These kinds of recordings could be used for books or stories, to create learning materials for language revitalization and maintenance, and more. A linguist can help you figure out what you want to record and to set up a location so that the recording sounds clear and easy to understand. Some linguists might have recording equipment available for you to use or be able to recommend equipment to you. And some linguistics departments even have sound booths. These are small rooms which are lined with thick padding to keep sound out, which are designed to create high quality recordings. If you're just getting started, a linguist can help you find existing recordings of your language in linguistic archives or libraries, as well as other resources and funding sources for your project. Sometimes there's an existing project you can build from, or specialized knowledge in archived recordings. Many communities are interested in developing language classes and teaching materials. But keep in mind that linguists are not usually trained in how to teach or learn a language. This is because the main goal of linguistic research isn't to learn how to speak languages, but to learn how they work. But if you'd like to understand more about the grammar or pronunciation of your language, a linguist can be really helpful as a collaborator to develop those kinds of lesson plans, especially when paired with the language teacher from your community. Some languages are never written down, often because it's important to pass down the language orally, that is, from speaker to speaker. Other communities, however, are interested in writing their language down, perhaps to create learning materials, to create a dictionary, or for a variety of other reasons. A linguist can help you make decisions while you are developing a writing system. Depending on the size of your project, you might need a budget or even outside funding. A linguist might be able to help you find and apply for grants and other funding sources. In many areas, there are private funds and government funds set aside specifically for language communities. Linguists might also be able to apply for linguistic funding, especially if the project is mutually beneficial to the community, to the academic goals of the researcher, and to the institution that's providing the funding. But keep in mind, it can take a long time for funding to be awarded, and some types of linguists, like students, might not be able to apply for funding. You might be wondering why an archive is something you might need for a language project. After all, the language community is the holder of uh, languages and language materials. There are two reasons why an archive is a useful thing for a language project. One is that the archive might have materials uh, already recorded on your language that were recorded in the past, and they might be good to know about to return to the community or to use in your language project. The other is that the uh, records for a language can be kept safe in an archive in case of natural disasters like fire or flood, or if the records are simply misplaced. Um, and so an archive can help keep those language materials, uh, the, the physical copies of recordings of the language and so on safe. Archive materials have different levels of access. So not everyone may have access to the materials that you deposit. That's 
that's a possibility, of course, but if you're recording things that are sensitive or that shouldn't be known by everyone, that's also possible to state in the archive. So not everything will be available to the general public. A linguist can help you find a good archive, an appropriate archive to house your language materials. They can help you organize the materials and submit them. As you can see, there are many ways a linguist might be able to support your project. Of course, depending on what kind of project it is, you may need to bring on board other specialists besides a linguist. If you want to get in touch with a linguist, a good place to start is to see whether your local university or college has a linguistics department. Some universities have departments with ties to particular languages or regions, such as Latin America, Asia, or Australia, to name a few. But you can also research more broadly to find linguists who work on your language or related languages, or who work on similar topics related to your project. Linguists usually have websites that describe their research, which are easy to search for. You can look at the People tab on a department webpage to find who works there. The best way to get in touch is usually by email, but if you can't email them, you can try calling the department they work at and someone in the department can probably connect you. Finally, keep in mind that students and professors will bring different sets of skills and resources to the table. It's a good idea to contact a professor first, since they'll be able to suggest the person who's best able to help you with your project. And you can always ask your linguistic consultant more about their skills, timeline, and budget constraints, so that you can factor that into your plans. It's important for us to support communities everywhere through language work, so we hope the information in this video was useful. If you have any questions about language projects or any topic that you'd like us to discuss in future videos, please feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.